Hey guys, it's Oaks. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Christopher Nkunku is trending, trending, trending in the Chelsea community now. It's getting ugly, my friend. Because apparently Chelsea already agreed the deal in principle in about 60 million euros. And uh, he already had his first part of the medical done. And the second part is going to be done when he's free next summer. <laughs> I'm going to try to make a little bit of sense here. Huh? Remember uh, this summer, this past summer, because we are already in fall here. right? So summer, he signed a new contract with uh, RB Leipzig and that contract to keep him at the club for uh, one more season and then he asked for a release clause to be included you know so that release clause is gonna allow him to be free next summer and it looks like he already agreed everything with Chelsea Football Club a little strange because how can you have medical because anything can still happen right you know in one year in football you can have heart attack you can have a broken leg you can have you can even die that is part of life right you never know what can happen so i don't really get it i don't understand why we or if it's true that uh, we we did that in advance so let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about christopher in kunku it looks like it's too good to be true you know our transfer target next summer if we can accomplish everything that been said this is hollywood stuff my friend hollywood stuff so i'm gonna read some of your comment here um this guy here say, Mr. Max, hopefully we get him next summer. Yeah. Todd Bowley is cooking. <laughs> Look at all the memes with Todd Bowley cooking and all that. I just don't, I don't know. I'm not too sure about what's going to happen because we've been linked with everybody under the sun. So it looks like... Uh, we are going to be the next Manchester City. So for people who don't know, this guy is a second striker. Uh, a second number nine or first nine, you can call him. Number 10, he's there. A proper number nine is, you know, the target man. He can be there also, but he's, he's, uh, he's not that big or powerful tall to be like the real target man like Olivier Giroud or... Erling Haaland, but you know what I mean. Those uh, second strikers, Aguero type of, you know, uh, Arvarez, you know, those kind of strikers that he is. So imagine if we get him, who is going to leave? Because we're going to have so many of them. Kai Havertz still there. Manson Mount, if you play him number eight. Or number 10. I mean, in order for this to happen, we need to to have a lot of uh, pieces of the puzzle put together in order for this to happen. But it looks like uh, Todd Bowley is not kidding, my friends. He's not kidding. He's including everything, okay? Kid. And also uh, confirmed players. Listen, I am not going to get too carried away with this news, to be honest with you, because I I want to guide myself, you know. I don't want to jump immediately and start celebrating. But if this happened, I'm telling you, Todd Bowley is going to have 10 out of 10. <laughs> Many people say that Todd Bowley is stingy, Americans don't spend money. Blah, 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 blah. He's coming to kill Chelsea Football Club. 
youth project doesn't work and all that but look at him spent more than 260 million already in one window and uh, we ready to to splash cash out there and get what we need wow Todd Bowley so as you can tell here I'm just scrolling down checking on um, on news here wow this is some Hollywood stuff Hollywood stuff my friends According to the report, Nkuku has already completed uh, the cardiological medical. So he's already, he already did his cardio. Mm. One year later, anything can change. You know, let me know if you think this is true. People are very happy in general. What that means? Does it mean hell? Okay, okay, okay. Listen, let's now read some other quick news. I've already made a video about this Leao guy and a potential swap deal. Christian Pulisic, Hakim Ziyech, and Rafael Leao. <laughs> Goodness me. Can you imagine? We have Leao. We have Nkunku in the same team. And then Jude Bellingham that we are trying also to get. Declan Rice also is on the list. That's, that could go to 500 million, bro. <laughs> 500 million. And that is very dangerous team right there. And make no mistake, my friends. Listen, just because we got all the so-called best players in the world doesn't mean that we're going to win any, everything. I've seen the hype for... Kai Havet, Timo Werner, Romelu Lukaku, Alvaro Morata, people like that. Higuain, you know, we hyped them. We celebrated. We wanted them to succeed, but it never happened. I'm a little skeptical when it comes also to the German market at the moment. Uh, Haaland is flying high. Jadon Sancho took him one year. Now he's coming back slowly and surely. I have it so far hasn't arrived i don't know if the coaching problem or he's just lacking everything <laughs> verna we had to send him back home uh to germany i don't know man nkunku yeah i watched him with the psg youth for years very good player but the Premier League is the Premier League, my friend. And even if we sign him, he's going to need our support. Especially when he's struggling with the physicality to adapt in the Premier League. The problem we have with Chelsea Football Club or Chelsea fans is... We pray, we celebrate like today, right? Everybody is jumping all over the place, celebrating. Thanks God, praying. But when God gives you what you wanted, <laughs> and then we turn against the same God. Remember Hakim Ziyech, Christian Pulisic, Timo Werner, Kai Havert. We reacting, we reacted the same. We were happy. We were jumping all over the place. Hallelujah everywhere. High fives. But every time those players have a little bit of crisis that everybody in life is going gonna have this time nobody is perfect including you and me so i don't understand why every time those players are struggling with form or something coaching or the system doesn't fit them we start insulting them sabotaging them asking for their head I don't understand that. So Nkuku, Jude Bellingham, Declan Rice, Leao, or whoever we are going to sign next summer, guys, we have to learn how to be patient and how to support our team when we are struggling. 